Woke up this morning and the Washington Huskies are losing Troy Dannon, their athletic director, to the University of Nebraska. Now, kind of dig back deeper. I saw like on Nebraska Twitter, welcome home. He is from the Midwest, so this was more of, it looks like a lifestyle move for Dannon and his family, where his family may or may not have even made the move all the way to the University of Washington yet because... He got hired as the athletic director in October. And this, to me, is a bit of a surprise and goes to show this offseason has been like ups and downs with a lot more disasters than good things for the football program and disaster so far for the basketball program during his tenure here at Washington. He was hired in October 2023. And we saw him unsuccessfully try to get Kalen DeBoer to stay at the University of Washington. And he leaves to Alabama, which, by the way, I see people on Twitter saying that, oh, the Huskies, we need someone who can keep a Huskies coach. The Huskies have lost three coaches in the history of the program. And I think it's been to USC, Texas, and Alabama. So no shame in that, losing only to those guys but to have our athletic director go to Al uh, to nebraska a fellow big 10 school it's not like he's leaving the pac-12 for the big 10 we are a big 10 school right now in march is a pretty big blow i think that we need like stability here since he was hired we like i said we saw him lose kalen DeBoer. And then successfully hired Jed Fish, which is great. Like the hire of Jed Fish was fantastic. He was able to pull that off in a great manner. And then after that, the problem here that I'm seeing is he fires Mike Hopkins, which I'm glad he did. Like that might be a, one of the more successful moves for him as the Mike Hopkins area is mercifully over at the University of Washington. But now we have no AD, no basketball coach, and there's been a lot of rumors that Utah State's head coach could become the head coach of the Washington Huskies and that he had already agreed to a contract. Uh, I think, uh, Jeff Sprinkle, I think, is his, if I'm correct, Jeff, Jeff Sprinkle from the Uni Utah State yeah, basketball. I just want to make sure I'm not going to get your name wrong. Danny Sprinkle, sorry, not Jeff Sprinkle. So if that's the case and he had already agreed to a contract, that's probably not going to be happening anymore because I don't think we're going to have a new head coach without an AD to sign the contract. So we have to move pretty fast here because March Madness is starting tomorrow. I mean, yes, the play-in games have already started, but the actual March Madness tournament starts tomorrow. And we need to make sure, A, we hire an athletic director, ASAP, and then the athletic director is ready to hire a basketball coach before we're literally picking from like all the leftovers. And that's a huge problem because the basketball program is in shambles. We have no head coach. The football program now has Jed Fish, who I think is a home run hire. But now you're bringing it in an AD. If Jed Fish struggles even a little bit, that AD is going to be like, this is not the guy I hired. So this could be like a big problem for the University of Washington unless Jed Fish just wins and this new AD comes in and is a home run hire. Uh, this news literally just broke. So I don't even have like athletic directors on my list that I believe are the ones that we're going to go after. So I have no idea what we're doing there. But overall, this is just big news for the University of Washington. It's going to be an ever-flowing story. Hopefully, we do go out and get someone quickly. Or if we get, if there is an idea of who is the next person that we already know. Like, okay, maybe we already knew that Danon was going to be maybe leaving. And with him maybe leaving, we already have someone in mind that we are going to be going out to get. Because I would be really surprised if... I, the college sports move quickly here, but you'd hope that the university has a backup plan in case a guy who then when they saw that like Nebraska's AD left, I think for Texas Tech or, or Texas A&M, that they were going to have to maybe be looking for a new AD soon. You just hope that and hopefully we move quick, get a new basketball coach and start like 2024, hopefully a little bit better than 2023 handed for the Washington Huskies. Well, the beginning of 2024, I guess, if you would want to be, you know, frank. 
So thank you for watching. My name is George on tap. This is the Huskies on tap, part of a sports on tap in Seattle on tap network. Sorry for the bunch of rambling there, but this news just broke. So wanted to post this out there for you guys as a quick reaction. Hopefully if I we find an AD quick and go Huskies, um, make sure you like, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments by the time this video comes out, maybe we'll have some idea of some candidates. Who would you like to see be the next AD at the university of Washington? We'll see you guys next time.